Hey, what's going on everyone? Fenris here. Welcome back to another vlog video. And today is going to be a special video. It's going to be it's going to be a good one for y'all. So, smash the like button. Also be sure to subscribe if you are new to the join the Wolf Army today. So, yeah. Today we are going to be reviewing Magic Spoon cereal I got in the mail. Wow, did that hell up in there? Yeah, check that out, guys. The high protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, wheat free, nothing artificial, childlike cereal for grown ups. Yeah. So you can order this right here, guys magicspoon.com. Also, you could DM them on Instagram at Magic Spoon Cereal. Yeah, let's get this box open, shall we? Yeah, guys, I'll give you a bit of a background on what's going on here. This is not a sponsored video whatsoever. So, if Magic Spoon, <laughs> you'd like to sponsor this video, it'd be much appreciated. I'd be humble, in all honesty. But nonetheless, let's get into it. You know, guys, I, I bought the cereal because I've seen some people on YouTube who reviewed it. I have actually tried it myself. I've tried the maple waffle flavor, which was, it's something else, honestly. It's not just cereal. It's like, I can't remember what I ordered, but the first one, yeah, it was cinnamon roll. So I'm really liking the design on the boxes, honestly. Fruity. I know this looks like some vegan shit. I'm not going vegan. I still have steak and shit in my refrigerator. But yeah, it's just good cereal I like. Here is the maple waffle I had. These are really good. <laughs> like, really good. These are really good. And then today is do a taste test of each of these ones and see which one I like the most. Because I know, I know these ones were pretty good, but I don't know about the fruity or the cinnamon roll. And let's look at the back of them. 8 grams of fat, 14 grams carbs, 12 grams of protein. Not too bad. The higher protein one so far is this one. But one gram really isn't going to make a difference for you. So, then finally moving on to the cinnamon roll, which I'm actually so excited about. We got 140 calories per cup with a total fat of 7 grams, 15 carbs, and 12 grams of protein. So yeah, let's put these in bowls and taste test them. All right, everyone. So before that, I actually, this was in the bottom of the box right here. So they apparently have a coffee brand, and it's called Wandering Bear. Very, very unique. Out here. I've got the cereal out here, everyone. And I'm going to be putting it in this bowl. I'm going to try it just a tiny bit of it because I don't want to, obviously, there's only five cups in these bags. I'll show you, literally. Yeah, this is it. These look like Fruit Loops, by the way, but check this out. It's not very much. So, yeah, and it looks like it's broken up, so. I will be leaving a negative review on that, because, I mean, if I'm paying $40 for some fucking cereal, bro, like, this shit better be shipped fucking good. We're gonna be grading them, I think, A to F on one smell two taste and then three appearance okay so let's go with number one for the fruity cereal which is appearance so looking at it obviously i said it it's broken up i mean it looks it's pretty colorful right it looks kind of like fruit loops honestly taking it out of the bag and looking at it it is a mixture of colors like this is kind of uh if y'all look at this it's kind of like the camera will focus. It's kind of like a bluish yellow. So, all in all, for the fruity cereal, I'm gonna give the the fruity cereal a C for appearance. It's it's about average, you know. It's about what you would expect for something like this. I was expecting the colors to be as bright as they are in the box here, of course, but they're not. And smell, yeah, smell. It smells fruity. Does it smell better than Fruit Loops? No, but it's all natural. It's supposed to be all natural. The fact that I'm looking at the box and questioning whether it's all natural is pretty bad. But 
milk protein blend, sweetener blend, allulose monk fruit extract. Monk fruit is apparently I kind of did brush my teeth before this, so I probably shouldn't have brushed my teeth before this, but. All right, everyone, after further analysis, I will give it a rating of A to F on smell. So I would say, C for appearance, for taste, and B minus. They could have done better on the fruity flavor versus chocolate flavor. There's not much fruity flavor. It's very bland for the most part. Um, also, the fact, I guess, that it kind of sticks to your teeth doesn't help anything. It's almost like eating a Laffy Taffy, except it's a cereal. So, yeah, B minus for taste. So, overall, this grade gets a, I would say, B minus for a grade. Not bad, but not good. It's okay. So, let's move on to Maple Waffle, since it's the brand I already tasted. Straight up smells like... When you were nine years, in 2009 or 2010, when I got up out of the bed, my mom was making me waffles. JK, she never made me shit. She just, maybe once in a while, she made me eggs, okay? Sorry to say this for my mom, but, like, you could have done better in the kitchen, not gonna lie. Um, I feel like a, a Gordon Ramsay critique kind of thing here, but she cooked good overall. You know, it wasn't, like, nothing special for breakfast, to be honest. Um, maybe once in a blue moon, she'd have waffles, but you get the reference, right? You can smell, you can smell the, the waffles cooking on the pan or on the toaster when you wake up early in the morning. You can really get the sensational vibes of the cereal and digesting and the fluids of your stomach. Yeah, with uh, maybe some of the other stuff here. So, yeah, definitely A for scent. So A, so A is all around so far for maple waffle. Now, let's taste it, shall we? I already know how it tastes, so. All right, everyone. I just came to the conclusion that maybe with milk, these would all taste better, but for the sole purpose of taste testing, I'd rather get the, the taste test, and, you know, by itself rather than with milk, because I think it just eliminates anything like, I don't know, objections of taste because you kind of lose some taste with the milk, I guess. So, I don't know. That's what I thought. Taste A. This cereal is great all around, so if y'all are getting Magic Spoon cereal, definitely get Maple Waffle. I don't know about Cinnamon Roll. Fruity, if you like fruit, more fruity cereal, if that's your thing, right, then I would recommend Fruity as also. I mean, I would recommend the cereal in general because of the healthiness. It's grain-free. It's all bullshit-free, right? So, yeah, let's move on to Cinnamon Roll next, and we're going to say toodaloo to you guys for the video. All right. By the way, I also hope you all are liking the video. If you did, consider liking it if you made it to this point. I would really appreciate it because now I'm going to have to edit the video. It's getting a bit too long, but yeah, let's get to the cinnamon roll. And brief intermission while I am unpacking the cinnamon roll box. Everyone, I am really shocked as to why there's not more people subscribed to the channel. Like, the variety of content right now is about as much as variety as there are in these cereals. Like, it is very extreme. So yeah, like, if you haven't already, you know, tell your baby mama, tell your dog, you know, 
tell your pet fish for Christ's sake, you know, tell them about my channel, bro. Like, what are you doing with your life, bro? Like, yeah, man, what are you doing with your life by not subscribing to this channel? I swear to God. All right. All right, guys. All right, y'all. We're going to move on to the next cereal. Cinnamon roll right here. And then they also do have, like, nutrition facts and all that fun stuff. Looks like this one is a uh, finish the story. Saddle up and hear yourself a tale of the most blank spoon slinger these, these prairies ever seen. Some ain't said he had a name, but here in Timbuktu, we called him blank when he rode into town. And yeah, it's just some shit to do while you're eating cereal, I guess. I personally, when I'm eating breakfast, I have way better things to do than fucking look at a box of cereal. Like, what the fuck? No, I'm just kidding. But uh, most of the time I do. So, all right, let's get into this. So far, what was it? The maple waffle cereals win. And we're going to see how cinnamon roll does. So, from appearance, it looks, looks almost like the maple waffle. So, let's take it out of the box, shall we? Appearance. Light brown, tan in appearance. Looks once again like a Cheerio. This is copyright Cheerios, man. Y'all can't be doing this shit. Oh, I'm just messing. But yeah, appearance, I'm gonna give I'm giving an A across the board, alright, y'all. Because it looks just like the maple waffle. It looks pretty appetizing to me. Looks like I wanna eat the whole box in one sitting, honestly. Hell yeah. But, at the same time, appearance, nice, light golden brown. It's not, like, bland looking or anything. It looks like there's an even distribution of cinnamon across the cereal, since it is a cinnamon... It's cinnamon flavored cereal, a cinnamon roll. So, it should taste like cinnamon roll, basically. Eating dessert for cereal, man, who would have known? But, very well. The roll... You can actually give it an A too, because you can smell like the frosting on the cinnamon roll, literally. Like, yeah, I kid you not. All right, so so far A's for both cereals, but the cliffhanger is going to be the taste on this one. And I'm gonna try it now, baby. There's a couple of things I don't like about it, and here's why. Alright. So we're gonna start off with the bad news. A couple of things I don't like about it. One, it's a bit of a chalky taste. Which I just think it's from guys yeah, from the the protein powder they got in the cereal. So twenty what is that? Twenty eight grams for some other cereal and carbs, like Fuck that shit, right? But, well-balanced cereal all around, good for you, nutritious, nu nutrition-wise, you know? Cereal, A's all around, my favorite cereal of these. Fruity. Overall, a B, it did all right. And then, finally, we got the, the cinnamon roll. This dude looks like he's riding a fucking T-Rex. But yeah, it's pretty good overall, y'all. I ain't complaining. They got other cereals, like I think they got an apple cinnamon. They got some other flavors of cereal. So if you'd like me to review those, highly recommend leaving a like on the video. Let's get uh, three likes for today's video, y'all. Also, if you have not subscribed yet, we have a subscriber goal, yes, still, of 250. And that's going to be by February. So, yeah, everyone will try to get to 250. If we can somehow, that'd be amazing. I'm going to record a subscriber special for that for sure. 
And yeah, everyone, hope you y'all been doing good. And the thumbs up on this video, it turns blue when you click it. It is today's sponsor, Magic Spoon. It's just one of my videos, y'all. Like. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Fenris, signing off for now. See ya.